reported, first the caller calls in and it goes to our dispatch center. When it goes to dispatch, they tone us out. They set off a tone that covers all three stations. It's one long tone. When a fire is reported, the tones go off. Our paging system is set up for a, a fire call. All three stations get the same tone out. So we're, you know, on a medical call, we're individually toned out each, whichever station is needed. But on a fire call, all three stations are toned at once. When a call is received, let's say if it's a structure fire and it's received, it's immediately these guys will put gear on, everyone except the drivers. They put their bunker pants, everything. We get to the scene, they go 10-8 on the radio, get there. The first end engine will assess the situation. He'll assume an incident command. And once he gets there, we, the second engine comes in, catches the hydrant. If the house is big enough that we see we need it, we automatically call mutual aid which will be District 5. If we need more than that, we'll call District 4. If we need more than that, we can also call East Side and Baton Rouge. And when mutual aid comes in, there's more manpower coming in. And then we assess the situation. My incident commander will set up a fire ground commander, and then that's two people will be in charge. One is the incident commander who relates to the fire ground commander, and we start working in teams. If it's big enough that we set a command center up, that's where we approach next. Getting command center set up, barricading everything off, and then start sending teams in. The role of the Fire Prevention Bureau at a fire scene, usually I'll take on the role as an incident safety officer, which get a whole picture of the entire scene and see what's going on and help watch out for the firefighters using the accountability system that the fire department has in place, helping keep track of the numbers of firefighters on scene and what their job assignments are. and just overall looking at the greater picture to observe any safety hazards that are taking place so that they can be stopped or remedied immediately and just to keep the firefighters and the general public around the scene safer. Once the fire is out, uh, we do what they call mop up or clean up. If someone is out of a house, lost, completely lost everything, usually our fire prevention officer or our chief will contact Red Cross and have Red Cross come out and kind of assist them with either getting some place to stay or some additional clothes or just some things that they may need that they've lost in the fire.